boom. So hey guys, Caleb here at Caper Productions, and for today's video, um, obviously you see this is a review, obviously not the review I was, should have done, but this is a review I got today. I figured I could run through this real quick, so don't worry about having to see me for a long time, because I'm not going to make this long, but I found this set today in a dollar store, or dollar general here in the U.S., so these sets are coming out here in the U.S., these smaller, at least these smaller Call of Duty sets, so they are coming out here in the U.S., but they're uh, unfortunately, that where I did find them, Dollar General, the prices have been upped. So, one small thing I've noticed at Dollar Generals here in the U.S., they have been upping the prices. So, at the at about a year ago, yeah, it was probably about a year ago, I could go to it and buy a a Mega Constructs Halo Heroes blind bag. You know, like um, this guy. This 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 is one of my custom figures that I've painted. But originally, it was a blind bag uh, Battle of the Ark Marine that I painted. When I first got it and I repainted it, but um, but anyways, I bought this guy for probably three bucks. Three bucks. Now they're five dollars, so they have upped the price two dollars. Well, they upped the price to dollar, so it was four dollars. Like it was like originally it was like three thirty nine, then it was four thirty nine. Now it's like five fifty, I think. At least I think that's what I bought the Halo Infinite Series three blind bags for. So they have slowly been upping the prices of stuff. The other things like the uh, Mega Constructs, Halo, you want to see Marine Defense, the Sword Base Invasion, uh, the ODST versus Brutes, and then the other one with the, like the Halo Four and Elite Rangers, and then the other in the Call of Duty sets like the the uh, Special Forces versus the Submariners. They all have been moved up from sixteen dollars to eighteen dollars now. They were seventeen dollars for a while or for like a couple months. Now they are up to eighteen dollars. So. The prices of them have been upped, so this thing, I think, would have been really good at 16 bucks, but for the price it is, it's a good set. It's, it comes with a bunch of really wanted figures, but it's just, I don't think it's really worth the money, unless you really, really want these figures. So, let me get into this. Let me move the camera. So, the set I am talking about today, or I am reviewing today, is the Mega Constructs Call. Okay, that's... Mega Constructs Call of Duty uh, Battle Royale Airdrop. So this set comes with four figures. So this is obviously the box is a little smaller than the other, uh, than what they used to be with like the uh, Marine. You want to see Marine Defense, the uh, ODSC versus Brute Sword Base Invasion, the other Call of Duty ones like the uh, Special Operations or Special Forces versus Submariners. Some of the other Call of Duty like the Desert Snipers versus Mercenaries sets. This box is a little smaller because. Unfortunately, in this set, it only comes with it only comes with four figures. It is all it comes with four figures, nothing else, like two accessories for you to put on them. The rest of it, it's all, it's just four figures. And if you you may have noticed, and if you found one in stores, so they have a little bit of a blunder on the box. They have soap and prices spot, and price and soap spot, and then they have woods just named wood. His name's just wood now, not woods, wood. So. But uh, then they got Hudson, he's regular. But the rest of these guys are already me messed up in their own little way. But um, this set right here, for four figures, that is $18. So that is $5, five fifty for each. Yeah, wait. I don't know. Five, it's like 5 to $6 for each figure. Somewhere along those lines, it'll be some decimal. But it's it's just really... I don't know what to say about it, so we'll get into the four figures that you get in this set. So, these are the four figures you get in the set. Obviously, there are some, some really wanted figures. So, they have uh, uh, two Cold War figures, Call of, Cold, or Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War figures. What just happened? Oh, shoot. I am so sorry about that. My screen went black and... Not black, but it, like, went, uh, kind of fuzzy. It, my phone's low power, so I might have to make this a quick review. So sorry about that little thing, but two called, two Mega Constru or two Call of Duty Cold War figures in Mega Constructs form, obviously that being Woods and Hudson, then two Modern Warfare figures, uh, Soap and Price. Soap and Price, uh, not, Soap and Price. Even though Soap wasn't in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, he's in... Uh, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. At least I don't think he was. I don't know, maybe he was. I can't remember. I haven't played the campaign in such a long time. Uh, but, uh, 
obviously they're under the battle right this is the supposed to be war zone so this is based off war zone so we'll go over each figure first we'll start off with captain price so captain price has this uh sniper this bluish okay this blue it's really weird kind of like aqua blue or something like that aqua all right it looks really it looks a lot more green in person but on the camera it looks more blue but yeah nothing else special about them it's price it's captain price we've we've had some captain prices before i'm actually i actually can i give me a second let me uh put that back on there yeah that's it's more of a sniper it's looks blue in here but it's more it's actually kind of like a green kind of like an aqua color let me pull this other one i have i have a i have the captain price from the new series mega construct the new mega constructs call of duty series so here are the two soaps. They both look, you know, pretty similar. The beards look different. The beards are different, completely different colors. Um, the uh, <laughs> the hat, you know, it's like the it's the same hat, you know. Beards are completely different colors. There's some they have, they use different uh, chest pieces or whatever vests. And they have different rifles. Pants are a little different color. This one's more detailed. Don't know which one's more accurate because we see soap in a lot of different, or price in a lot of different ways. So this one right here, this is uh, soap. So soap McTav John Soap McTavish, he is seen in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. I'm pretty sure 1, 2, and 3. Can't remember which one he dies in. Sorry if that's a spoiler. Go and play the Modern Warfare games. They are amazing games. But he does die in one of them. I can't remember which one it is. But uh, we see him here. It's... It's him. He does have his little, his very, very faded out goatee. And I don't know if, yeah, if it's even on this figure or not. Little slash in his eyelash from where it's cut. Um, and I pull my other one. I have, I also have the, uh, the soap, uh, like a Call of Duty figure. The other one from like the Call of Duty Heroes. This soap, this other soap though, it comes with a shotgun. So it comes with an M1014 shotgun. This, so they're a little different. They have different rifles, but besides that, they are extremely similar figures actually. The hair is darker on this one because of the light. It looks more blue. It's actually black. So yeah, but the, besides that, the the shirt is pretty similar colors the r or the hands have different types of gloves they have the same uh vest piece and then the legs are a little different but all in all it's not that bad so next we'll do hudson this is someone we've actually never got before hudson so he is one of the figures that has the new these new mega constructs like cape pieces they're like caves they're supposed to be what they use to parachute or glide into the to Verdansk in uh, Modern Warfare, or in Warzone, Verdansk, as some would say it, as us say, as some would say it, however you say it, Verdansk, but uh, he comes with an M1014, and there's no one to compare him to, because this figure has never been made before, I think this is the first time Hudson has ever been in a figure, so, right much about him, he has these nice shaded, the shades head, so, yeah, but he's, like, not extremely, like, an extremely detailed figure. Next is Woods. We do get Woods in this game, in this set. Uh, there is a figure to compare him to, but I actually do not have the figure. It's from the Mega Constructs, the new Call of Duty figure series, or Call of Duty figure series, and I did not get him, though. But he does actually come with this. This is probably my favorite gun in this set, this, like, caution, caution-taped M16 which I thought was pretty good. Call back to when the M16 was broken in Warzone and it could kill you so super fast. Uh, but it's Woods. Nothing else much about him. It's a pretty good Woods, to be honest. I, I like it. I think it'll, it'll be a really good addition to my Call of Duty collection. So, yeah, those. And then but the M16s, Call of Duty M16s, they have always been bad about having the muzzles fall out of them. But yeah, those are, so that was the, that almost fell. So that was the Mega Constructs Call of Duty Battle Royale Airdrop. So this set, eight retails, 18 bucks, you get four figures. Definitely not worth it. That, in my opinion, it is 100% not worth it. 
it there's just not enough in it to be worth 18 us dollars this is all in or yeah this is all in us dollars i bought it because i really wanted the figures and i'm gonna get the other one that has come out because i really want the figures in it so i can do a review over them but it just i just don't think this is worth the 18 dollars unless you really really want these figures and i fortunately really wanted the figures so i could review this set and because i really wanted mostly to really just wanted woods and that nice caution taped m16 but besides that the sets it's a d the set's good it's just i don't think it's worth the amount you pay for it it's just not that good it's just 18 bucks i have no idea why dollar general has been upping their prices on stuff In my opinion i don't think they should because they were probably already making a lot of money off of them because they have always been like whenever i go into dollar stores they are always sold out or something there's no point in them upping their prices. I think they do fine in terms of, I, I would assume that they were doing fine in terms of sales revenue from these types of mega construct sets because they are always sold out whenever I go there. They either have very little of them or they have so, they're sold out or they have like a fresh stock and they're going to be sold out or they're on clearance because they have too many. That's 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 how it goes usually because some dollar stores just get way too many types figures and yeah but anyways um turn the camera around here all right this thing don't want to move up okay let me there we go all right all right so anyways that that's my review of the set definitely not definitely no i wouldn't say not worth it but it's it's just not the best for what you get. I think Mega Constructs did a good job on the set. They, I sixteen dollars would have been would have would have been an amazing, I mean, perfect price for the set. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, at Dollar General, it is not. It is. Sorry if you heard that in my background. My niece is at my house, but it is not worth. 16 or it's not worth 18 bucks 16 would have been much more reasonable price just dollar generals have been upping their prices on everything for i have no idea why but anyways that's that's my review of the set it's a decent set i really like the figures in it if you really want the figures get the set if you don't really care about the figures it's definitely not a set i would definitely say yeah you need this in your uh, collection because it is not because just the price is not worth it the price is just too much. Well, anyways, uh, I have another review. I have, I'm going to film two reviews right now. So uh, let me go ahead and get to reviewing this next one. I'll see you guys in the next video. That'll be this other review that I'm doing. I'm going to get to uploading this video. So I'll see you guys in this review I'm about to do. Adios.